Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you another haul video. I posted on Instagram if it was too soon to film one and everyone said no. So you guys love haul videos. So I have haul stuff for you. Um, it's a little bit of a mixture. It's um, some mostly like Sephora and Ulta and a couple um, like a couple luxury items, but I will um, just get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the high-end item. This is the um, La Prairie uh, translucent powder. I've talked about this so much that I said I better film this video like show you guys in the haul otherwise it would just be a moot point. But this is the cellular treatment loose powder. This is in the shade number two which is the um, more of like the flesh tone color which I love. Um, I am not going to talk too much about this because I've talked about this like my favorites and in a tutorial. Um, I love this. I really wanted to get a you know luxury powder like this to you know set under my eyes or whatever. And this is the one I chose and I'm really happy. I'm really impressed with it. It is very silky and it doesn't cake up under your eyes and it just looks beautiful. It looks like skin. So I really have been enjoying this. You can even set your whole face with this if you wanted to, but I really love this powder. Um, like I said, I'm not talking too much about it. So <laughs> that's that. Um, and then I have a couple things from Sephora. I'm, I placed an order online because of this. This, um, I got an Instagram to picture. You guys don't follow me, make sure you do. This is the Tarte um, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3 eyeshadow palette. I saw this online and the colors just spoke to me. I was like, oh my God, I need this. So this is what they look like. It is so beautiful. My Sephora, of course, didn't have it in the store. So got kind of irritated. I drove all the way there and they didn't have it. Um, these colors, like, let me just swatch a few for you. They are gorgeous. It's, you know, like, look at that. They... If this palette wasn't made for me, I don't know what was. Look at that. They are just like basically a palette full of shimmers, um, which I love because I've been really into kind of like that shimmer lid and it's just perfect. So I ordered this and I figured while I was ordering it, let me get a couple other things I had been um, wanting. Um, so this is this palette. I will definitely do a couple looks with this because I've used it um, a couple times and I just really enjoy it. So I will do a video using this very soon. So I got that. And then um, I picked up this blush. This is the blush. This is the Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy. If you remember when I did my, um, this is what it looks like. And then you just kind of take the lid out. Um, it looks like this. And I've used this. Um, when I did my, um, I did my Sephora VIB recommendations and it, like what was in my cart, I wanted this blush and then it sold out and then my Sephora didn't have it. So I was kind of irritated. So finally I, how beautiful is that? It's like a beautiful peachy pink color. Um, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I want it and I'm going to get it. So I did. And you just kind of like, you can swirl them all together. This is more of like the, you know, shimmery part of it, but it's beautiful. I love this. It is perfect for that spring and summer. It gives you just like this gorgeous look. I think I've worn this in a past video. Love it. Really, really love it. Enjoy it. Um, it was worth the wait. So she's, she's beautiful. And then I got, um, a, Hourglass Lip Stylo. This is one of their newer ones. This is in the shade Believer. I really, really like these. Um, when they first came out, like years ago, I had one, like a nude one, and it was too nude, and I don't know, I think I ended up giving it away or whatever. But I wanted to try this again, and it, it's the shade up here. And it's just like a beautiful peachy pink color. Really love it. I wore this in my uh, video not that long ago. If you look in the description, I was wearing this. What was it? I don't remember what the video was. It was my, not my summer essentials. I don't know. It, it was one of the videos that I was wearing this and I really, really loved it. So look at how pretty that is. So I got that. And then they were doing a code where if you put in the code, you could get a free concealer. This is one of the new Benefit um, Boing. This is the airbrush one. My brow girl Steph was telling me about these. They had them, um, but not like to purchase yet when I got my brows done. And so she was telling me how the airbrush one is like amazing and she was actually wearing it as a foundation. And I was like, really? So you could choose from shade one or two and I got the shade two because I just figured, well, oh my God, it is so creamy. Like I've never really been a fan of like Benefit products, especially in their concealers, like the old ones. They were so like, you know, not, not creamy and not blendable, but this is like butter. Like I just swatched it down here. So I got the shade two because I figured if I'm going to use it as a foundation, I'd go darker, not darker, but like I'd go for something that more matches me. This is so creamy that I'm actually wearing it on as concealer today and it hasn't broken up or anything. And it just looks like skin, like it matches my skin tone, which is really what I've been going for with concealers lately. Just something that really kind of matches my skin tone or is like a shade lighter, not like 
five shades lighter. Um, but I just, I, I can't get over the creaminess of this. Um, and this is pretty decent size for like a sample. Like, look at that. That's a lot of product. Um, I haven't used it as foundation yet. I really do want to, to kind of see how it, how it wears because I'm, I'm impressed. I think I'm going to try, they have a brightening one, which is kind of like a peachy color. I might get that. Like they have like different, um, like reformulations of them. So this is the airbrush one so far. I really love this. So if you, if this is still available, like the code, it was in my Sephora app, um, in like, I don't know, in like the offers. So if you, you find that and get this, this is amazing. So, that was that and then i got a um couple burberry two burberry things this is the i'll talk about this first this is the lipstick this is the um they're like kisses i believe i have a couple of them um and i just wanted to get another one this is in the shade 505 nude which is basically a nude <laughs> it's beautiful um i just i wanted to get a more of a more wearable color um and it's kind of it, it's a really heavy swatch it's kind of dark but it looks so pretty on the lips like it is so good like if you just kind of dab it on it's going to have really good staying power and it's just it's beautiful so look at that color like if you blend this out it's going to leave, leave like a really beautiful stain like i'm just it's almost like a rosy nude like if that makes sense but like i'm just blending it and you can see like how pretty it is so love that and then i got um this is the the eye contour like their shadow stick um i got it in midnight brown and this is the the one i was wearing in that one video that i did that really warm smoky eye and you guys want a tutorial on it and i am going to film it very soon um i just really love this and i just i'm really into like these kind of like shadow sticks and then putting um you know other shadows over it to kind of give that de definition so it the by terry one started it and then i picked this up and i just really love it so you can see that um i will do a video using this very soon because it was it was really cool the way that it, it turned out so I picked that up and then I needed a brow gel and normally I just pick the MAC one um but I felt like trying this this is the new makeup forever brow gel and I think the packaging got me because it's so cute it looks like this um and it's just like a clear brow gel and it comes with this little cute brush and I really like it. Um, after I set my, you know, after I do my brows with a pencil, I just kind of touch this a little bit and it really helps keep them in place. And I really have been enjoying this. Um, it's good. It's inexpensive too. So picked that up and then I got a lip liner. This is an hourglass lip liner, um, in the shade Eden. And I got one so I can have like a bit of a darker nude, um, like for all of the nude shades that I've been getting, I kind of wanted one that would match them. And oh my God, look at this, you guys. Look at how pretty, it actually goes so good with the Burberry um, one, but this is just like a beautiful, again, like the darker nude, almost has a bit of a rosy tint to it. It's so pretty. And I really like Hourglass products. So I got that, really enjoy that. And then um, I will do my, that's pretty much all I got at Sephora. <laughs> then I will do, um, I got a couple things at Ulta and then I'll do my Morphe right now because I'm not gonna just do a separate video on it. So. I placed a Morphe order and there were a couple things on it. I need to get a couple brushes. Um, I got the, I was looking for the under eye brush and I don't know where it is, here it is. This is the one I've talked about. This, I came in that order. This is the E49 that I, I wanted to get. So I talked about this in my favorites video, but I love this. Um, this is kind of what started the order. So I got that. Then I got this. This is the other thing I wanted. It was the Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this thing, I'm not really a huge fan of setting sprays, but the, I'm gonna like spray it this way. If you could see how fine it is. And when you spray this on your face, it has a really beautiful scent. It has like a very luxurious, like sexy scent almost. And it smells so good. And I just, I love the mister on it. It's not like, like the Urban Decay where you have to like spray it like this. This, you just spray it once and it just, it's a fine mist. It just like covers your face. Oh my God. I love this. And I just love this. If I feel like I've packed on maybe a little bit too much foundation or a little too much highlight or blush or whatever. And I just kind of give this one little spray and it just takes it away. And it doesn't alter my makeup or make it like oily or greasy. I really like this. Like everyone's talking about this and they, you know, I just, I really love it. And you can just kind of, it's just, you can use it before or after makeup. I just use it to set makeup if I have to, but love this. Really, really enjoy it. And then I got um, three eye brush or four, I got four eye brushes um, and I've used them 
so they're kind of dirty, but um, this is the M573 one, and it's kind of like the M44 one, but it is just a little bit um, more tapered, but I really love that for just putting, you know, a darker crease color in my eyes. And then I got the M504, which again is just a longer um, tapered brush that I love to use, just like my transition color. This works really well for that. And then this is the M524, which you can see I've used it. And this is just kind of perfect for putting shadow on the lid. Um, I've been using this when I do my like shadow stick and I put the shadow over it. This just works really beautifully on it. It's just kind of like a, it's almost like a 217, only a flat version of it. So just really place the, the shadow on your lid. And then this one I loved for under my eyes, it's the M574. Um, it's just beautiful. It's kind of like a big, you know, pencil brush, but it's really soft and it just blends beautifully under your eyes. So been loving that. As you could tell, it's very dirty, but I've been really enjoying that. And then I have my last bit of stuff from Ulta, which is not much. Um, okay, so I was perusing the sponges <laughs> and um, I came across these. These are the Real Techniques mini, mini sponges. Um, and this is the one I used today. They come, it's like four. Um, they're really pretty, actually. Like you have like a little purple and then the orange and the light pink and then the, the darker pink, which is what I use today. Um, they do get pretty big when you wet them. And what I, I have like the larger sponge of this. I got it a while ago and I never really, I didn't really care for it. But th these are so soft and I love the flat edge of it. Like you could see, this is what I used with that um, Boing concealer um, under my eyes. And I just, you know, pat, pat it under my eyes and it just, I don't know, I guess because the shape of it and it's just really easy to work with, it just blended out my concealer really nicely. And I'm really impressed with these. You know, I, I have like the, the larger sponges, like the beauty blenders and everything, but there's just something about this that really you can kind of get in there and really blend out. I even use this with my corrector, which I will show you next. Um, like it's just, I don't know, it's just so soft and bouncy and it kind of kept its moisture. Like it didn't get really dry. So really like this. You will probably see it in my favorites next month because I literally just got it and used it for the first time. So but love that. And then this is the corrector. I have, you have seen it in tutorials. It's the um, Smashbox Color Correcting Stick in Look Less Tired Light, which is the peachy shade. And you know me, I love correctors. I love, you know, anything that is portable and easy. And this is just a stick. Um, and it's so creamy and nice. And when you blend it out, it's almost powdery, you know, like it's not, goopy and it blends into your skin like when you put this under your eyes because of that it's not going to cake up so when you layer your foundation and concealer over it it's not going to look too cakey and crepey i've been really impressed with this and i like i said i put this on and i just put it like under here you saw it in my video and i took this and i blended it out and it was like beautiful and it just looked like skin like it just my, my it corrected the darkness under my eyes so i really love this and i love this with it so that was that um, and then in, in correlation with this, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, they had another palette that was like released before it. This is the Believe in Yourself, which now Sephora and Ulta have it for $30, like on sale, it, I guess because it's being discontinued, not discontinued, but it's Make Believe in Yourself. So it's as I and Cheek palette. So when I was in Ulta, they had it, they had two left and I said, well, all right, well, I like that one. I was like, so let me get this. This is, and I was hesitant to get this one. And I'll tell you why. Like I saw it when it first came out and it was like full price, but I was hesitant because there is like a slew of colors here, like these colors that I really just won't wear. Like the purple and the blue, like the silver, I, I really won't wear it. I mean, most of them are really pretty and has like one matte shade here, but I'm just knowing me, I'm not gonna wear them. So I was like, I'm not gonna spend $40 on a palette where I'm really not gonna wear it. Um, and then you have like a really beautiful like highlight shade here. You can put this on your skin. Um, it's really pretty. Um, so I was like, I'm not, I, you know, they have like these colors here, like, like all the ones from like here around are beautiful. And I was like, I, like, especially this one, this is the one that got me this trance shade. It's that like beautiful, oh my God, look at that. Like metallic, like satin taupe, but like metallic, like you have to see this. Oh my God. Like this color spoke to me. I was like, I'm not gonna spend $40 for one shadow in a palette. So when it was $30, I was like, all right, well, I'll get $30. I'll buy it for $30 because like the, the crease color is really pretty and it's just, it's beautiful. So 
I picked this up and I haven't even used it yet. Like I just swatched it and I'm excited to use this. So you'll have to let me know which one would you rather see in a video, like this one or this one. So I will definitely do a video using one of them, kind of like with my like glowy eyes look. Um, and then the last thing I got to show you is Anastasia came out with new lip glosses. You guys probably saw that. Um, and I forgot to order the one that I wanted when I placed my Sephora order. So when I was in Ulta, and I just kind of thought about it, I was like, man, all right, that's fine. I, you know, do I need another gloss? And then when I was in Ulta, like they had like everything. So they had the new glosses and it was the shade Toffee that I wanted, of course, which is the nudie, nudie beige, nudie color, like your lips, but better. Like the color that I love that almost reminds me of the, um, the Chanel one. But like, look at that. I looked at all the other new ones, but this is the one that I saw on Instagram months before they were supposed to be released and it just looked beautiful. So that's the shade Toffee. And it's what I'm wearing today. Like if I can tell, it's still on my lips. It's actually, they have really good staying power. These are like 16 bucks and they last forever on your lips. So that is what I'm wearing and it's really pretty. So that is my haul video. Not too bad, pretty quick, but I got a lot of really good stuff. Like most of the stuff I got, I'm really impressed with guys. Um, this is definitely a must have and like the corrector, like I'm impressed with everything. Like there's nothing here that I'm just like, eh, you know, whatever. It's really good stuff guys. So let me know if you have picked up anything good recently that I should check out. And if you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys.